Hello, welcome. My name is Racha Jackson. I'm a, a master's of education student at Aga Khan University. Um, I'm going to handle how we can use GeoGebra to find the inverse function of a given function. For example, I'm going to take you through finding a function I mean the inverse function whose function is f of x as we are seeing equals x squared. So we are going to have the we are going to enter the function and we see the graph as that. Then on that graph, on that uh, uh, curve, we put a point along the curve. So there we have the point A. Now, this point, we need to get a tangent that passes through it so that it helps us to proceed. So we, we input the tangent, and in this case, this tangent is going to have the point, which is point A, and the function, which is the original function, and that is function f of x. Now, what is the slope of this graph? And we know that any straight line has a slope. So the slope of this, this graph, I mean this, this line, and our line in this case is line g, can be seen as 3.11. Now, supposing we have another point, that is point c, with coordinates x at point A, and then the y code, I mean the y value is the, the slope of this line. We are going to have a point C as indicated. Now finally, suppose we have another function that we are naming as f of x, I mean h of x, which is the same as dx. We are going to have another line drawn. And now, if we try to make this line pass through point C, we are going to have our inverse function. I want you to take, to take keen note of this and see and take the reading of our inverse function. When we slide this, we are going to move, mean, mean the line is going to move, that line of f, h of x will be moving. Now when we superimpose it at point C, we will see that um, d, our d, is going to be 2x, which means that the inverse function of our function f of x equals x squared is 2.1. Thank you very much for being attentive.